Good morning everyone, I'm Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC and in today's video we're going to show you our baby bunnies, our baby angora bunnies and we're going to explain the signs and the clues that we look for when we're thinking about moving our angora rabbits, the babies and starting to separate them from the mom. So make sure you hit the subscribe, press the bell, that way you get notified every time our videos come out and we've got videos every single Saturday and Monday and sometimes in between. So what you're looking at right now is a group of baby bunnies. This is a family and the dad is Arthur, he's over here. The mom is Mariah Carey and she's in this box right here. So there's five little bunnies in this pen. Right now they've been fed breakfast. There is, it's hard to see, hello, this is the, this is the friendliest little doe here. They've been fed um, a banana in there. They've been fed fresh grass. They have pellets and they have water. They also had radish tops. So baby, baby radishes. Ooh. So, all right. So we have Mariah Carey in there. She's the mom. We have all five babies in this pen right here. Now, five babies in this pen, one of a couple things that you're looking for right away is the space and the amount of space that each bunny has, the amount of space if each bunny wanted to spread out, if each bunny wanted to um, run around, if each bunny wanted to stretch out. So we're just taking a look at that. This is a four foot long pen all four of these are four foot long pens and these are about 18 inches tall and they're about somewhere around two feet uh, for their width two feet deep so it's pretty warm after we consider and we take a look at how close are the bunnies how much space do do all of these bunnies have we also factor in what the climate is what the temperature is and it's pretty warm here. It's summer, it's northern Wisconsin, it's July. This is not a cold time. And so we see that the rabbits are getting a little cramped together. I don't like what I see for space. I don't like what I see for being able to stretch out. When, when all the bunnies are hopping around, and they're very friendly bunnies, they just come right up to you, especially this little doe right here. But they just come right up to you to be pet. They're very interested in what's going on. That's what we specialize in, friendly bunnies. Friendly Angora bunnies that are good wool, that are healthy, good moms, good dads. Hey, hey. So this is, when I see this, this is not enough space. I don't like what I'm seeing. For having six rabbits in a pen, all these rabbits can hop around. All these rabbits can, they can run, they can jump. And when they're running and jumping, I wanna see more space for them to be able to run and to be able to jump. So it is warm, and when it's warmer, we want them to be able to have that space. We don't want any other bunny body blocking the wind. If there's a breeze, we want everybody to be able to get access to that breeze. Some more things to consider. Let's take a look at these two right here eating. Oh, this one's coming over again. She's the friendly little doe. Well, they're all friendly. But this little dude who's eating, this is a two and a half pound feeder. Hello, everyone. So this is a two and a half pound feeder. This is a two and a half pound rabbit feed pen. And the space in this, the length of this, the ability, can all the rabbits that are in this pen, if they all wanted to eat at the same time, could they all eat? No. That's one of the things that I take a look at and I say, okay, only a certain amount of bunnies can eat at the same time from this feeder. So I don't like seeing that. I want bunnies to have more space than that. If they want to eat, I want the bunnies to be able to eat. I don't want them to be prevented because it's full. Now the next thing, water bottles. So we have two 32 ounce water bottles. 
Certainly, all the rabbits, if they wanted to drink, cannot drink out of whenever they want to drink. We would either need to add more water bottles or separate the baby bunnies. So I want to be able to have make sure they have access to water when they want it. Now can all of them fit in this little wooden shelter that we have? Absolutely not either. That's another thing to consider. So the amount of space you have, for example, um, when we put in the grass, when we put in the hay, when we put in the plants, and with the top of this wooden hut, these are all places if a rabbit doesn't want to be standing on the wire, <laughs> hello, if they don't want to be standing on the wire, that they have uh, additional options to stand on. And truthfully, one of their favorite things to stand on is hay and grass. So when I look and I take a look at this, and I say, okay, I want to see more space that they can all go in if they want to sit on. Now that could be added if I wanted to add another hut, or if I wanted to add more grass, or if I wanted to add more hay, I could correct it that way. However, that would also, the detriment would be it takes up space from uh, where they can run and where they can play. So these are all signs I'm truly looking at. Now there's some more important signs than just, than just those. And that is, I've been paying attention to Mariah Carey. She's eating the banana right now. I've been paying attention to her, and I've been wanting to know, I've been watching, how is she doing with weaning the bunnies, the baby bunnies? Because you do not want to take baby bunnies away from their mother and separate them when they're not weaned at all. You do not want to do that. There are benefits to staying with the mom uh, because of the rabbit's digestive system. They need access to a smooth transition from mom to being on their own and one of the ways to make that smooth is they've been introduced since a younger age to all these different types of foods there's you can see there's pine cones in here they can chew on they can play with there's a banana this right here is uh, what's left of pump fresh pumpkin leaves you have the grass uh, earlier again there was radishes some of this we have had dandelion plants they've eaten um, rose leaves and roses rose petals rose hips they have had sunflower leaves they've had all sorts of different things so oh, that's an entirely different video of how to properly introduce all these things to your rabbits so that they don't get sick and that they live and we're not going to cover that in this video however when we think about switching is it time to switch the baby bunnies? We do know that yes, what we're seeing right in here, we have, we know we have weaned rabbits. These, none of these baby bunnies, what you're watching, none of these baby bunnies will open this up. Excuse me, Mariah. None of these baby bunnies are trying to nurse from their mom. All of these baby bunnies are eating the grass or the banana, the pumpkin leaves. This one's sleepy now. They're either drinking water, they're eating pellets, all of these baby bunnies, nobody has been trying to, nobody has been trying to um, nurse from their mother. And that's what we want to see. And that's been going on for quite a few days now. If it's, one day is not enough. If you watch your rabbits for just one day and you see, oh, it, you know, in this amount of time, they're not trying to nurse from their mother, one day is not enough. You want to see that behavior repeated where they're eating all this they're drinking successfully from the water bottle, they're successfully eating pellets, and mom is not nursing them at all for a consecutive string of days. And so it's probably been a good week that we've noticed she was getting towards the end of weaning. They have not been able to nurse from her, and they really, at this point, aren't even trying, as you can see, they're not even trying to nurse from her. If you see baby bunnies that keep trying to nurse from their mom, that's a good sign that it is not time to remove the bunnies yet. However, there's other factors to consider, such as if, you're, if there's an eight-week-old rabbit that's still trying to nurse from its mom, then that is, a bit, that is a bit abnormal. And you can work towards weaning them off in a different way, which is, again, a different video. So, here we are. And we have these five bunnies. How, we know now based upon all these signs, we know based upon all this, how are we gonna separate 
these money we know we need to and now the next question is how are we going to actually accomplish the separation of these bunnies how are we actually going to do this now rabbits are social animals and they're social in a different way than dogs they're social in a different way than cats they're social in a different way than horses so as you can take a look here's some signs so these bunnies are all eating very close together and there's one little bunny back there one little friendly bunny and then there's this little girl so these are all these rabbits are all social there's no fighting that we have right now they want to be um, they they want to be naturally close to each other at this age they want to be close and they don't want to be alone at around they're around four weeks of age they don't want to be alone around four weeks of age they want the companionship they're used to the companionship baby bunnies this entire time have had access to their mother and they have had access to their brothers and sisters so one of the worst things to possibly do is to take a four week old baby bunny and move it by itself that's not that's not something I advise. That can be quite lonely to a rabbit. And we don't want we don't want anything to stress them out. As you can see, this little baby bunny even lays by the others, smushed in there, even though it'll be warm. So we have already sexed the rabbits. We know this little girl right here, the friendliest, the friendliest little doe. She's She's a little doe, we've sexed her. We know the heavily Vienna marked fawns. These two are the only two bucks. And we know this little harlequin doe and that little harlequin doe. Hello, hello. <laughs> that are laying down. We know those two are does. So what we want to do is we don't, again, we don't want to take one baby bunny and just separate it by itself. We still want them to have the companionship of others. We're going to divide them in half. And I'm going to show you what we've taken the time to do. Before we even have the baby bunny separated, we make sure that they have their hut. We make sure that they have things to play and chew with, chew on. They have their little pine cones. They have fresh grass. They have their pellets. They have their cool water bottle. You can tell it's cool because it's literally just wet on the outside and sweating. They also have a little rabbit toy. Sometimes they play with it, sometimes they don't. They're more interested in natural things. And so we're gonna, this is a four foot pen, and we're gonna separate three of the bunnies into here. We're gonna separate the bunnies. Typically we're gonna start separating um, by sex, but we also have other factors to consider. So the two bucks and the friendliest little doe are the three that we've chosen out of these, out of this pen of six baby bunnies. Those are the three that we've chosen who we're going to move to this pen right here. And we're going to move three again because we don't want baby bunnies to be alone. They're used to the companionship. We're separating by sex because we have, that will keep three does in this pen right here. So Mariah Carey is the mom. She's a doe. We have the two Vienna marked Harlequins. Those two are does as well. So we're gonna keep those three does together. And we're gonna take the only two bucks and the remaining doe and move them to this pen. At four weeks of age, the two bucks and the one doe that are gonna get moved to this pen, we're not worried about um, fighting over the doe. We're not worried about mating. We're not worried about the possible pregnancy because they cannot have babies at four weeks of age. So why don't we go ahead and do this. We'll open it up. We're going to set the camera down. And all we do, I know, this little buck came right up, this one. So we're going to grab him right away. We open it up, but we're also going to shut it. We don't, we don't want to leave this baby buddy. baby bunnies we don't want to leave the top open now we need this little doe who's eating and the little buck who's in back and he's resting he's resting right back here we need him but we're not going to get him just yet we don't have good access to him we don't want to make this traumatic so we have this little doe 
this little friendly doe and she's eating so we're just going to gently take her we're going to shut the pen again and we're going to move her over to the next pen now we need the last buck so you can see everyone's got full tummies She has a mosquito. Sorry, honey. Oh, drop the GoPro. Full tummies and they're laying down. We need this little last buck. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna slide this little box into the corner and it prevents him from getting in there. Let's see if my arms can reach. This is a very large reach. Come on. I'm going to lift him up from the bottom. Take the camera out. Shut the pen. We have these two in this pen. We're putting our third bunny in there. Before we even before we even moved these bunnies, we really spent a lot of time watching. This is a heavily Vienna marked buck. This is another heavily Vienna marked buck. He has marbled eyes, which is a little difficult to see from this angle. And then with that itty bitty white tail that you cannot even see in the box, right down in there, that's that little doe. So we have three bunnies in here. They all have food. They all have grass, they all have water, they have a hut, they have things to play with, they have each other. We're not moving the bunnies by themselves. We've paid attention to have they been fully weaned. We know they have over a course of days. We've been able to watch and verify. We have locked our pen back up. They have everything they need in this pen. These three will stay right close next to their mother and their mother's pen. So they have they have, um, they still have the, abil the ability to see other rabbits. They still have the ab ability to see their mom. They still have the ability to see their dad down the way. They have the ability to see their other sisters, but they also have each other in a new space to play in which they, as you can see, they get right down to exploring and they get right down to checking everything out, which is what this little dude is doing. These are just good natural things hopping around. This is almost like when you take kids to a new playground, they get really excited about it. So these three are in here. These three are still over here. Now, if I wanted to, I could add another water bottle. It's summer, it's hot, that would be a good idea. That way every rabbit has a water bottle whenever it wants to. The, the ability to eat from the feeder is much better now there's not six heads in there the space for these bunnies to hop around to lay around to run around to get a good breeze in summertime that's greatly improved these babies have the same thing much more space they can spread their legs they can really hop around they really can get in the feeder like this little guy And so we've set up a situation where we've safely moved three of the baby bunnies, split the litter in half. When you move the baby bunnies, the numbers don't have to be equal. Let's say you had a litter of six, and if you have six baby bunnies, what you could do, for example, is you could still leave uh, two with the mom and move the four smallest ones over here. But that depends on the actual, that depends on the actual sex of the rabbit. So that's just more to take into consideration. Some of the other things I consider are which bunnies am I going to be keeping? And the two that I left with the mother are the two that I'm keeping. So these two little does I'm gonna be keeping. They're gonna stay with their mom because they're not gonna be going anywhere. And they can the does can stay together for quite a while longer.
Now baby bunnies grow fast. Again, this is only about a four week old baby bunny. We know they've been weaned. Not all rabbits are weaned at four weeks. So that's a, a massively important thing to, hello, massively important thing to consider. When we're going forward, obviously these two baby bunnies cannot stay with their mom for their entire life. That's not enough space. And these three baby bunnies are not going to stay together in this pen for their entire life either. We consider which baby bunnies are going to be rehomed, which are going to be going uh, are going to be sold, and we know that these three baby bunnies we already know that we have homes in mind for these three baby bunnies so what we would do next what we would focus on next is we would really want to consider and take a look at and pay attention to hi we'd pay attention to these three baby bunnies we're seeing good signs too so this little one hopping around here she was hopping around doing some little binky-like moves. Those are signs we want to see. We want to see happy, excited signs, and, and that's what we're seeing from these rabbits. But the next move, the next separation that we would consider is going to be these three. And again, we have two bucks and a doe. As they get older, then we do have to worry about the two bucks being together with a doe. We don't have to worry about that right now. But as they get older, we will need to separate the two bucks the two bucks from the dough. There she is cleaning herself. There's the this little guy is eating. That little guy was kind of hopping around. So we'll do another video in the future when it's time to consider the separations further, but this is just the first stage of when it's time to separate the babies, when we know they've been weaned. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe, press the bell, hit the thumbs up. We'll see you later.